Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G and it's Saturday, September 10th. Tesla is forced to change autopilot features in Germany by the Federal Motor Transport Authority. According to the German publication Wirtschaftswoch, the Federal Transport Authority has found abnormalities. The authority, President Richard Dam, commented on the situation, saying that the agency is waiting for information from Tesla and might have to intervene if they don't receive it. Now, it's not a whole lot of information on the core of the issue, but it is worth noting that autonomous systems are often different in different markets. The vast majority of Tesla's driving data has been collected in California thus far, which results in some features being left out until properly adjusted for the local market. On a sociological note, I would be very interested to see the hard data of where the best drivers are located around the world. I'm going to venture a guess that says that the best driver will originate from my house. It's me. I'm the best. As Tesla has announced new leadership for Gigafactory Nevada, they have also given numbers for the output of Powerwall, Megapacks, vehicle motors, and batteries. Chris Lister, the vice president of Gigafactory Operations, was in charge at Nevada until he left this summer. But now, Rushikesh Sagar, is the senior director of vehicle operations and manufacturing engineering, has now taken over the responsibilities. Sagar is also actually in charge of the Fremont factory, being in the leadership. He said that Nevada is pumping out 8,800 high-voltage battery packs per week, 42 giant mega packs per week, 6,500 power walls per week, and also 283,473 drivetrains during the second quarter. Regarding Fremont, they report that the production rate of 12,000 cars per week is current, and in the future it will get to 14,000. According to a new report, Ford Motor Company's CEO Jim Farley will meet with dealers next week in a bid to lower the price of electric vehicles, and the intent is to compete with Tesla. In some ways, Ford seems to be catching on to the electric revolution, as Ford took a distant second place in EV sales in the U.S. this past month. Now it appears that Ford is trying to lower the consumer price of vehicles by hashing it out with the dealers. While Tesla has operated on a direct-to-consumer basis since the beginning, Ford has had to be tied to their dealer network, which hasn't always played nice. With the popularity and scarcity of the Ford Lightning pickup, dealers have set astronomical markups for these vehicles, which incurred threats from Ford corporate to negatively impact dealer relationships and even reduce certain inventory. Now, Ford CEO appears to be attempting to work with the dealers to lower the cost and continue the EV growth. You've got to hand it to Elon Musk for establishing and sticking to the direct-to-consumer model. I would assume that the auto companies wish that they could pull that plug, at least without consequence. Volkswagen is unveiling its most powerful ID model yet, at least in concept. It's the all-wheel drive IDX Treme, a rugged off-road EV concept that is spelled X-T-R-E-M-E, -E, because, you know, you can't start with the letter E, heaven forbid. The aggressive off-road looking electric SUV is based on the ID4 GTX model with some performance upgrades. The concept comes fully loaded with two electric motors, delivering a maximum output of 220 kilowatts. While it's still just a concept, Volkswagen says that they will monitor the fans' reaction to it, and based on the feedback, they will decide what is next for their future projects. BMW has publicly announced a new battery format, and it might sound familiar. They have publicly stated that the future success of a competitive EV market relies on powerful, innovative, and sustainably produced battery cells. And they say that their new EVs will be utilizing a newly developed 46 millimeter diameter battery cell. That's the same larger design that Tesla is using already. This past August, we covered a report that BMW was planning to adopt Tesla's 4680 format, and now we have confirmation. In a press release, BMW says that these cylindrical cells have been specifically designed for its new EV architecture and can increase the range of its highest range models by up to 30% using the WLTP cycle. BMW also clarified that they will be using lithium ion chemistry with an option for a cheaper lithium iron phosphate chemistry at some level. Solar electric vehicle company Aptera has officially released their new prototype called the Gamma version. Aptera says that this will soon be followed by the Delta prototype, which will be the production intent design before 
actual assembly. Aptera currently has over 32,000 reservations, and they say that they remain on track to begin ramping up scaled production in 2023. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.